Hi everyone, this is Richie the Blind Hedgehog and welcome to this very first outside video of 2020. As you can see, the sun is shining really hard. Actually, our month of April is amazing when it comes on weather. We had like, amazing weather. And look how pretty the backyard is. We are in full lockdown right now, still. Um, I don't mind the noisy birds, they are in full parade, so they might be quite noisy. Um, this morning I just received a package which I ordered from Amazon.fr Oh no, sorry, Amazon.de um, I wanted to collect another African wild dog like this one But this is the Wild Republic one, so I had my two African wild dogs here um, So that we can have a little comparison so There you go I'm just gonna open the package so we can have a look so we're just going to do a little comparison between the uh, Suma Wild Republic sitting up African wild dog and the wild uh, and the Wild Republic. So here we go. Now I know I was about to call her Azuri, but I might just rethink the name since I just received another one today. And we are. So here's my African wild dog, and this is another item that I had on my way. And there you go. Just look at her. Really glad to have this one. I tried to collect it off my regular Amazon, but I used the German Amazon because apparently they didn't have the large one. There you go. And this is Another joker, yeah, I know it comes out already. Um, thank you for the. So this is a um, little joker chewy toy. Actually, it's a dog toy, and um, I collected it as well on my way because it was a pretty normal price. I really liked it, but on Amazon.fr the price was like crazy. So this is another one. I just love the face. It's a squeaky toy, but I didn't find a squeaker yet, so, so it's gonna be for later. I'm gonna put this big one aside. And here they are. Aren't they just wonderful? Now I'm just going to give you a quick view on the uh, Wild Republic one and then I can go over to a little comparison. So. There you go, just to give you an idea what we're talking about. Um, so these two plush, as far as I know, are two plush of one same price class. So it's possible that one might be more expensive than the other, but that actually really depends on the website, the seller. And but personally, I think on, when it comes on quality, they are a bit the same. Now, as you can see, the Wild Republic one, the right one, turns a bit larger turns out a bit larger but that is yeah that is indeed the case when you compare Wild Republic and Suma collection mostly Wild Republic's a bit larger um, it's difficult to say if the material they use for the coat of the plush is about the same quality I think it feels about like the same quality but the question is is it indeed comparable 
in, in quality. So I suggest you ask these guys uh, about this because it's difficult for me to know. Um, but I think, yeah, I'm really sure that Tools Plush are actually, yeah, somewhat the same when it comes on, on quality and, uh, um, and yeah, price class. So, as you can see, the muzzle here of this guy turns out a bit larger, a bit more like bunky. The nose is plastic. Here you have more like a uh, smaller nose, also it's a bit of a different material, It's the nose is also plastic. And because of their coats they both look very realistic. Personally I like the finishings of this one here. Um, also the fluff in the ears as you can see here, it's more like a bit hairy. And the insides of the ears have more like a brown color. But the ears of mine stand up really well and they have like the same little lining here as on here. So I don't really know if they are based on each other but it looks a bit like it. Here you have a bit of a different fluff. The ears are black in the inside. And you have more like this little flecky uh, spotted um, stainy <laughs> um, pattern on the head while on this when here you have just a tan equal color. This one, one, this little one has like little tufts on the sides of the head, which this one doesn't have. And in general, actually, this plush turns out a bit larger than this one, as you can see, really ob obviously. But also the way of sitting is different. The um, maybe I can show you like this. Maybe it's more clear in the sun. The um, just the way the legs stay up and also yeah here the legs are really squishy on mine and they have like little beans in them the legs are a bit sturdier actually a bit a bit um a bit larger here the legs have more like a very long slim finishing with a somewhat more firmly stuffed um inside and uh, also i think the legs and the feet have a prettier finishing i just love her, I would almost say her, her way of sitting, uh, because uh, she looks a bit more like a bitch to me. Um, also here, the back legs, the way actually the dog sits with retracted back legs, while here you have more like a, a slightly extended back leg that is also a bit typical on the Wild Republic ones. The pattern on the back on the Wild Republic plush is a bit darker, and since that those dogs seem to have their very own pattern. I think it's very typical, very, very nice actually. They are a nice couple. Also here you have the little fact about them. I know the tag is a bit, diff it's a bit difficult to handle. Um, hold on a sec. Sorry, here you go. So this is what they look like from the side. And they're they're both really nice. Like usual, they complete each other, definitely. Um, I really like them both. If I have to pick a favorite one, I would definitely go for this one here. Um, the tail has just this white fluffy tip. Here the tail is not stuffed. And it has like a little fluff. Here the tail is stuffed and it points upwards. And just look like the dark pattern of, of this one here, which is really nice. And the feet here. I know Wild Republic all, always make the feet really large, also maybe to sustain the plush very well. Um, here you just have very firm soft stuffing in the legs rather than beans. The Wild Republic one has beans, this one doesn't. 
And here, this guy has like a black belly that reaches the chest. And over that point, you have more like the uh, stains that it usually has. And here you have a black belly all over the place. I really like that actually. And the brown eyes as well. Um, on this guy, this is just the largest lying down one. You also have this black belly. I would really recommend all of them. And you have those nice little handscaped white poles. So cute. So there you go. The head is a bit larger here. But I think the proportions, the, uh, the, um, the animal looks even more realistic actually on this girl, this one. Its neck is a bit larger as well. So there you go. The sitting position of this one is a bit more realistic. And the pattern on the back is much lighter, actually much fairer. Yeah, pretty fair. Here it's darker. So there you go. I'm really glad those plush are so different because I would really recommend them both if you want to collect them. And personally, my favorite, but I really like them both, you know, is this one here. But I was, I was really in love with this one as soon as she came out of the box. And that she was the last one, apparently. I collected the last one. I think the shape of the muzzle on this plush is also really well taken care of. Well, here it's a bit more, yeah, more like rough, just like on this one here. See what I mean? Um, but the, the, those, both those plush are really great, and I would really recommend them both. If you love African wild dogs, get these guys. Um, this is actually what I did as soon as I collected the Wild Republic, uh, the Suma collection one. Cool. I had to have the um, the Wild Republic one as well. Their ears. Look at this. I know I was about to name her Asuri. So far, I just rethink the name. It's nice, but I might just rethink it. So there you go. These are my African wild dogs. They're really great. A nice little pack. And if I ever manage to collect a mother or uh, a hyena or something, you'll be sure to know. Now I'm going to have a quick look at my joker here. Where is he? It's actually really cute looking. Here, warning, please do not open. <laughs> Well, what can I say? It's not the plastic that's dangerous on this item. There's an awesome tag there. I know the shadow, the shadow is annoying. It's a chew toy. Yeah, sure. We can't wait to chew him, can't we? You sure want every part of this guy in your mouth. Nope. I hold on up. Take him out of the bag. There you go. This will be the newest addition um, to my uh, Joker collection. I'll give him to the dogs. <laughs> there you go. So. No, guys? None of you? Seriously? <laughs> okay, well, um, this is, yeah, I think this toy is amazingly made, actually. He's so soft. He's very shiny, as you can see. He's just, yeah, he feels a bit like polyester. He has this little hook. And the nice thing is that you can actually make him hands hang him somewhere, which I might actually do. He is, yeah, he's really charming. I really liked his face because I don't really have this face on any of my plush. And I think he's actually very finished. Also, the ears here. And his features are all embroidered. 
so that's that's amazing he also has a nice finishings of the suit here on the back and also nice little shoes and his very soft um yeah shirt i'm gonna call it a shirt also the green parts here now this is an amazing uh, dog toy he has yeah well he is indeed shaped to fit in a dog's mouth um he has like some plastic in here most like in his bummy um And the squeaker is actually located in his head. So when you squeak him, yeah, Kylie would be very intrigued if she would hear this. But she's not here right now. She's she's out for a very long walk with my dad. Uh, she will come home. She will she will come home soon. This is so cute with a squeaker in it. You can hang him somewhere. You can squeak with him. This is a nice collectible. I would not. I would just not give this to my dog. I think it's it's way too pretty and way too expensive as well. Um, now, if I give my dog to my dog toys, um, I'll give her toys which I don't mind that she breaks actually. Um, and if there's one dog toy that I really would really love to collect for myself, I do, and I get Kaida another one if if she gets the same. So. This toy has really nice finishings, and this is what the tag says. Hold on a second. Yeah, I know it's a bit annoying. The shadow, maybe that's because of me. I didn't choose the right location to make my video. That bad. I really love the tag. Look at him. Look the way he just jumps with his legs all wide open, with his knees like pointing different sides. Oh. And the face here. I made another nice joker drawing and it looks a bit like this here. Yesterday. So definitely keep the tag as well. And look at him how sweet he is. I had this for like 20 euros. And I think it's a great plushie. It's a great plushie. It also does well for cuddling. Um... And I'm pretty sure it's pretty safe for a dog. It's just that it contains like plastic inside to make him crack when the dog chews him. And he has also plastic in the right under the face and a squeaker. The nice thing is that you can actually imagine how the laugh, the squeaky sound comes out of his mouth. And his tongue here. This is this is another different Joker plush I have. I am amazed. This is amazing. So glad to have him. Also, the way the hands move is actually very expressive. So, personally, even though this is a dog toy, I don't think they actually made the quality, limited the quality or something. No, I think they did a good job. Because sometimes dog toys are made to be torn apart and sometimes quality just, yeah, it's really bad. Um, but there's no way I'm going to ever give this to Kylie. This is my toy. It's mine! So there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this package. I'm really glad I found my th those two items. I really wanted to collect those. So I'm really glad. Um... The wild dogs. Love the ears of this one. Stand up really well. Wild Republic plushies also have this pad, this little, yeah, this little pad of a different color on the bottom of the poles. Um, lots of my plush have this, while here actually don't have this. It's just white. It would be great if it would be white here as well. I don't really know why they do that. Lots of my Wild Republic plush have this feature. So, there you go. I'm going to end it here. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!